Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Legends. Remember, I'm sharing the joy of reaching Legends highlights this month, and I'm giving away my prize uh, consisting of a 60-pack bundle code. So please subscribe and leave a comment answering the question, what is the most annoying card, in your opinion, from the Isle of Madness expansion? What, has, uh, what card has given you the most headaches? <laughs> uh, today we are playing out a Tempo Mage Because we haven't been playing a Tempo Mage at all recently uh, We've only been playing like Dagoth, Archer, Scout Weird stuff like Nick Sox, Jig Jog <laughs> And I, I thought about uh, having a Tempo Oh no, it's it's the connection again. Oh boy. I thought about playing a Tempo Mage. Because now it's really feasible. Uh, with Manic Jack, you can pull a lot of stuff, including uh, Drain, Guard, Lethal, um, Wards. Plus, uh, you've got Wardcrafter in Mage. So you can uh, give Ward and buff up Manic Jack constantly. While also benefiting from Dawnbreaker. Uh oh. Territorial Viper. We are playing against a scout. What would you expect? <laughs> uh, let's throw in a lightning bolt. Just to let my opponent know that I mean business. Preserver of the Root. Ah. Uh, well, I think we are going to have to... I think we're going to have to javelin that. We could shackle it, but... Uh, that would be two magicka spent, and with three magicka, even with the ring, four magicka, I have nothing else to play except the lightning bolt, which I don't want to play right now. I'm keeping that for the extra reach that I might need to finish the game. In case my opponent lays down um, Fighters Guild Recruits or Sanctuary Pets, I've got Executes. <laughs> oh, that's great. A Daggerfall Mage. I'm going to make best use of my magic and summon Gnarl. 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 Root Bender. <laughs> now, we are running um, lesser wards. So if we draw one of those, we can apply it to Gnarl and we'll just uh, gain more cards. Also, if my opponent plays any actions like this one... <laughs> We're going to draw a card, because Gnarl's uh, ability triggers before the action takes place. So even uh, Lightning Bolt or Javelin or Cast Into Time will trigger Gnarl to draw a card and then uh, disappear from the board. <clears throat> I got seven Magicka available, and I'm going to play it as an eight. And we're going to shackle the Elder, the Blood Elder. Quite the damage on the board. Territorial Viper on Gnarl. Yep. I got Lightning Bolt for reach. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> so yeah, that's... Uh, any four damage from the board and lightning bolt, and this is a this is a good game. I'm pretty satisfied about how the tempo of this deck works. I don't know if I should include um, Uncano in it as well for that extra game ending reach. I'm not sure. <laughs> Good game.
onwards with our second game. And right now we have just been matched up against Atelvani. <clears throat> I think we are going to have a hard time fighting against this. Not a very good starting hand. I think we'll manage. If this is a control deck, um, my tempo is going to suffer. I'm going to lay down... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cleric of Hine. And next turn... Golden Initiate is coming. Yeah, we are also running Golden Initiate in the deck. Trying to keep my stuff into the Shadow Lane. Opponent is already at 5 Magicka. Thanks to that Tree Minder. A scout Report. Are we going to get Shackled or not? Maybe Lightning Bolted. This does not look like... Okay, Distiller. Uh, this does not look like a mid-range deck. From the looks of it, it's either Conscription or maybe... Um, I don't know. Tinkering? Nixox combo? I guess we'll see soon enough. Uh, we can play East Marsh Crusader next turn. No, we can't. We can't because we can't allow that distiller to gain magic by slaying my stuff. Five more damage. Slowly chipping away at my opponent's health. Hug leave. Oh yeah, that, this this uh, this sucks a bit. <laughs> I guess uh, the only option is to use Don Breaker on the Golden Initiate. Trade into the Hug leave. I'm only left with two damage. What can I do? Let's see, maybe we can draw something. Damn it! Damn it. I messed up. <laughs> uh, I messed up. Please leave a comment if you notice my mistake. Yeah, I could have played... Uh, I, I, I can't. I, I have to tell you. <laughs> it's nagging at me. So I could have played East Marsh Crusader and then lay down uh, Penis of Socolata's agent that would have uh, stolen the guard from the Hogleave and I would, would have been able to deal 5 damage. Next turn, most likely, the uh, Penitus Colossus would have died. I could have played Dawnbreaker. Yeah. Could have uh, developed quite nicely from there. Lucian. Lucian. So, I think this is a... Uh, a Slay Telvani. We don't actually care this uh, this Blood Elder gaining HP. Do we have lethal? <coughs> Let's see, like 8, 10. Yeah, we have lethal. No, we do not have lethal. <laughs> we are going to draw a card. <laughs> no, Root Banda is awesome. Uh, what do we want? Ah, uh, damn it! Yeah, I could have, uh, I could have stolen with Penita Socolata's agent that guard and execute Lucian. Oh well, we are going to steal Lucian's. Uh, We are going to see Lucian's lethal, and we're going to lay down 
Manic Jack. We'll see what we get. Hopefully not a god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are in business. <clears throat> so an ice storm will probably clear stuff. 14 magicka, that's a lot of magicka. It can play a lot of stuff, including ice storm plus any other action to wipe my board clear. Okay, makes sense. If any of my creatures are on the board at the end of this turn, it's uh, the match is mine. I only need to deal one damage. Sources of negation. Opponent is down to nine magicka. We could see a double guard in each lane. Uh, double guard, sorry, a guard in each lane, I uh, meant to say. Skeletal Dragon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Concede a victory. <laughs> Wasted too much magic of that. Good game. Temper Mage wins the day. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you like this deck. See you next time.